Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan with Simply Megan Plans. And if you are not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and then you are able to see and watch all of my future videos. I upload a video pretty much every single day. I've been kind of slacking on Fridays and Saturdays, but for the most part, there is at least six to seven videos every single week. Uh, this is going to be me flipping through all of my October spreads and I am starting with my social media planner. So here we go. October, this is my currently page and I didn't write in my two list areas, but I did keep track of my watch hours. I wrote down a lot over here and I had my goals, uh, which I did surpass. So that was good. Then my monthly page spread, whatever you want to call it, is where I keep track of my numbers. So I have my subscriber count and then my Instagram follower count. And I keep track of it every single day. And then I put if it has gone up or gone down or there was no progress. Um, these numbers fluctuate a lot because sometimes people will delete accounts or they do mass unfollowings or whatever. So I see like my subscriber count. I got subscribers this day, but I also lost some. So it, it leveled out to just be zero. I don't know. So anyways, um, I like to keep track of this. I find it very like interesting to watch the days that I get like a lot, like seven followers or, um, oh, like six subscribers, you know, stuff like that. So anyways, that's what I do in my monthly. And then at the end I put how much it's gone up and how much in both of those areas. Okay, I, for the first week, did, what is this called, Bold and Blush, and I actually used this this week in my mini, so, um, but anyways, I did this for the first week of October, it has a lot of oranges and blacks, which is why I thought it would be perfect for October, and I thought it was cute, I thought it was fun, I have been slacking on writing um, the lists, but anyways, I really like this. I like the peach color. I applied for a job, but I didn't get it. So anyways, that's what that was. Uh, okay. Then the next week I did modern meow. This was so cute. I love these, um, like the dots. I think it's like so much fun. The cat that comes out of the box, like, oh, so cute. It has a lot of fall colors. Then I did this week where I used the Halloween book and I used the huge haunted house. I put get spooky and I had these ghosts like, and the countdown. I thought this was a really fun week. And then for the week of Halloween, I used a few of those fall books. And you can look at all of these plan with me's if you go to my dashboard playlist. So I didn't love this one. This one just had a lot of orange and purple. So that's it. Okay, so that is my social media planner for October. Now here's my journal. In my monthly, I don't do my currently by the way. In my monthly view, I do one fun thing per day and I decorate a little bit up here ahead of time with Halloween stuff, but each day I put down one thing, like one fun icon, and I put one thing that I did each day that was fun, you know, kind of like memory planning. And then I had a little space where I would check when I logged stuff. So. You know, I don't do it every single day. Sometimes I'll go back, or most of the time I'll go back and do a lot at each time, you know. Okay, then I did flannel this week. 
And then I did these, um, I did a lot of washi and then some of the stuff from the fall book. And then the Island Oasis Mickey and Minnie. And then Halloween, lots of washi and these ghosts were cute, stuff like that. So that's my journal. I'll leave my catch all for last. Then here's October. So this is my mini. I don't use my mini a ton, but in my monthly view, I will write down um, things that I did around the house, like cleaning stuff each day, like changing the sheets or washing my car, stuff like that, things that don't happen very often. And I also like to keep track of random things like I vacuum behind the thing under our TV, which you don't do that very often, you know? Okay. The first week I did candy corn and this was so cute. I love when it's filled in, but I don't always do it. Then I did Miss Maker and this one was so freaking cute. Ugh, love the mini. Then I did snakes and these like spiders and lightning bolts. And then this week was the Halloween and I did not really like this spread very much at all. So I didn't really write in it very much. So that's my mini. And now here's my catch haul, the moment you've been waiting for. So monthly view, um, I talk about I try to talk about often, but I really like to get super decorative and I write in major things that are going on like birthdays, traveling, appointments, grocery shopping, bills, sometimes bills, stuff like that. So I used the Halloween book there. Then I used the Halloween book again. And oh my gosh, I love this one so much. I did the countdown at the bottom. And this was mostly like the spiders and cotton candy and the donuts with the spider webs as well. And then this was that Seasons book, the one that is a collab with Alley House. So this was really cute. I did lots of pumpkins and gourds and the ghosts, like black and lavender and a little bit of orange. Oh, this was so cute. Let me pop this back in so I don't forget where it was. Then it was the purple teacher florals and spider webs. So this one was really filled up. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's what I do in my catch all is I am a no white space planner. I like when it's super filled up. And then here's the last week, which was the week of Halloween. And I did a circle on each day, which I really loved. And I used the, what book was this? The seasonal fall, I think. And it just had a few pages of Halloween stuff. So I used those. And I love how it turned out. I did a lot of orange, black, and like that deep yellow. And that's it. So those are my four planners. And oh, and then at, at the beginning, that's the other thing I forgot. The beginning of my journal is where I put one fun thing per day. That's what I forgot. Or not one fun thing per day. This is my gratitude journal. My gratitude log, single sheet. That's what I do. One thing per day. And then that's it. So I love flipping back through them. I keep all of my planners. I really, really love to have them as keepsakes where I can go back and flip through. I have all of my planners ever since I started in 2014. So 
uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know which spread was your favorite or which planner was your favorite. Um, and if you want to see any of these that I originally created, I film everything. So they're all in playlists, really super organized. I have a journal playlist. I have a dashboard playlist. I have a mini playlist. I have a vertical playlist. I have everything and monthlies, all of it. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And until then, please like, subscribe and comment for more. Bye guys.